Panther fans, get ready for a deep dive on all 22 because the film don't lie. Mike Kraft, Mike Rucker, Kevin Donnelly, a special primetime edition after the Panthers' disappointing loss at the hands of the Philadelphia Eagles. Let's get right into it. What did you guys see out here on this field? Well, I thought it was uh, two very good teams that showed that they were 4-1 and one go head-to-head. -head. Um, I don't think anybody was um, disappointed on the play in between the line of scrimmage because this was two football teams that really – really just laid it out there on the field. Unfortunately, the Panthers came up just a little bit short. I really like that Julius Pepper stepped up and set the tone early on with the sack on the first, uh, first when the defense first took the field. And I thought that the energy was in this stadium and it really just took place of really just two heavyweights going at it. Two four and one teams and Kevin, anytime teams are equally matched like this, it's going to come down to turnovers, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. The turnovers tonight were just devastating. And it's not just the turnovers, but where they were on the field. Both of the, the touchdowns for Philadelphia came off of turnovers inside the 20-yard line of the Carolina Panthers. And when you set up an offense like theirs, as productive as they've been this season, they are going to get points out of it. They, in fact, got 15 points out of it because they got the touchdown and then the touchdown with the two-point conversion. And that, to me, is the difference in the game because it was very back and forth. I thought the defense did an outstanding job uh, in some very tough situations and to hold Carson Wentz and that whole offense uh, to some pretty pretty low numbers for them, their standards on the season. Uh, it's just like you said, those turnovers were very costly tonight. Well, coming into this game, we knew that this Eagles team was very good on third down. And I think back to the third quarter, guys, they had a third and 16 that they converted. That was after being second and 21. And they're able to get that little dig route in the middle of the field, open underneath the zone behind the linebackers. That was a huge play because at that point, it kept the ball rolling for that Eagles offense. It did, and this game's all about getting momentum. And especially when you have a team deep like that, you really want to pin your ears back. And uh, you know they, they were able to get that first down, which again, in this game, game of inches, and they were able to keep the ball going uh, to go down the field. When you look at it, despite all of that, despite the turnovers, the Panthers get two chances yeah. in that fourth quarter with the ball in their hands and you're giving the ball to, you, to Cam Newton, who's been as hot as any quarterback in the league. I sort of like the Panthers' chances, real surprised the way it turned out. Yeah, I, I thought it was an outstanding job by the defense stepping up with two three and outs in that fourth quarter. That really made a big difference and gave those possessions to the Carolina Panthers that Cam Newton and that offense could go out there and try and get some work done. They just could not, it, it, they really seemed a little bit out of rhythm. Made some plays, got down the field somewhat, but really couldn't ever get real close to the goal line to give themselves a chance. And um, so you, you liked where they were. They had the, the ball in Cam Newton's hands and that offense just could not produce when they needed to. You know, the, the other thing is, you know, I really felt like Cam ran the ball. When you, when you look at the numbers, running the ball 11 times, I think that's why the last two weeks they've done so well is that he's been active in running the ball. It's just like you said, Kevin, just a little bit ago, that the turnovers at the wrong time will just suck the air out of you, and you saw that tonight. Well, you definitely saw that, and at the end, they weren't able to come up with the win. Now you look at it. Is there, and you guys have been in this situation, Two games on the road, short week against a tough team. Is there almost a chance to kind of exhale, get that extra couple days here and get a restart? You know, I think this is a very good veteran football team. Just like when they won a big game up in New England, it was like, hey, this is a nice win, but we need to go on to the next week. Now, this was a big game tonight. They lost. You look at the film tomorrow, but you move on. You get a couple extra days to rest up and heal up, but you got to put it in the rearview mirror and you got to get ready to go to Chicago. And I'll tell you what, they need a little extra rest because the defense, I think, left their heart and soul out there on the field. They gave it their all. And then offensively, you know, the final touchdown drive by the Panthers there, kind of early in the, the fourth quarter, midway to the fourth quarter, uh, Cam was instrumental on that with some really big runs. In fact, one of those almost went for a touchdown where he was diving for the end zone. And I just know he got, he got beat up some tonight. You know, he slid when he could. But when it came to that, that crunch time of the game, he really put his heart and soul out there to try and get some plays for this offense. So I know he's a guy that's going to need a little extra rest. I think the 10-day break until they play the Chicago Bears in Chicago is good for this team. Good for them, and it's going to be good for us because we're going to pour over this film, and we'll be back next Friday 
here right here on our YouTube channel to talk about this game and also get ready for the Chicago Bears. And fans, you always know if it happens in between the lines, we will talk about it because the film don't lie. We'll see you next time.